the mask and the fight for their mask and how much gas they can damage and the fight has put on their weight for 50 to 40 to 40. And they were put in middle of so many other, uh, you know, competing factors, right? Uh, people not wanting to do it and regulations, you know, telling them that they had to. For this particular McDonald's, workers had started off at 8.25 because of the pandemic. Uh, they did it a dollar to 9.25, still very tough. What did we hear about as far as reaction from either the franchise owner or McDonald's corporate? Oh, that was very rare. Uh, the franchise owner didn't really respond to my many oh, questions. Oh, that was very rare. I, you know, spent a long time oh, oh, talking about what was going on. McDonald's didn't either, other than to sort of express their concern and frustration with uh, many of the allegations in the store. Oh, that was very rare. I that, or concerned about that, uh, but beyond that, didn't really respond. So the other thing that plays out through all of this is, you know, you hear a story about low-wage workers, fast food workers walking out of their jobs, and the reactions start piling in. I guess in this case there was a Facebook group that, um, you know, was talking about this, and really you just started seeing things on all sides of it, people calling them lazy, people doing this, some people sticking up for them also saying, hey, you don't know what the conditions are like. Tell me a little bit about that, because that's where the rest of this plays out kind of in the national conversation. Yeah, that's what I found so interesting. So Brentford's a pretty poor town. It's a sort of post-industrial town uh, that's lost a lot of jobs and a lot of people. And so this Facebook group is a really interesting just window into that debate. The members on the Facebook group seem kind of asked to join. So most of the people are from Bradford. And so most of the people are not that different from many of these fast food workers. Some are making a little bit more, some are making about the same a lot of low-wage workers and a really fierce debate about whether they deserve more pay. A lot of people felt like, hey, you're flipping burgers, you signed up for it, now if you don't like it, it's your own fault. Others feeling like everyone deserves more yeah, pay. Oh, we help her. They're working hard and showing up every day. I do want to get towards the end of the story in all of this. One yeah, month later, yeah, yeah. you know, after things had kind of uh, cleared down, a lot of them did oh, find better paying jobs, some at these other fast food restaurants. Oh, Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, almost everybody found better paying jobs. Some, like, you know, Tim Horton's Donuts was paying $12 an hour, and there was like these three people that went there. Um, a couple went to Burger King, which was paying $10 an hour. You know, there's a lumber mill that has desperate for kind of low skilled workers, and a bunch of them, at least four, went to the lumber mill. You know, we're making, I think they started at 12 50 an hour, and some of these even gotten raises beyond that. You know, and Justin, Justin for his part, uh, you know, looking really good in this story, right? He did mention at the beginning, I want to help everybody find a better job. And, you know, when you guys, when you caught up with him a month later, he goes by that McDonald's at the end, and he sees that they have a, a new sign. They're hiring starting at $10 an hour. You know, some of that initial stuff that they were hoping for, that just give us a little bit more money, so if you appreciate us. They went through all this, they walked out, at least they came out on top on the other side, but in the end, the McDonald's had to end up raising some of the wages anyway. Yeah, yeah, and I think Justin took that as a stop in the face in part because he realized it really wasn't about the pay, it was a little bit about the pay, but it was more about just, you know, letting him and the others know who was really boss the it, making it clear it wasn't them. Greg Jaffe, national reporter at the Washington Post, wow. thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for tuning in to the Daily Dive Weekend Edition. You can catch a fresh episode of the podcast every morning, Monday through Friday on iHeartRadio. You can also follow us on social media, at Daily Dive Pod, on both Twitter and Instagram. Stay tuned for the Jesus Christ Show next. But first, into the newsroom. This is KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk. No need to keep hitting refresh. We got this. KFI. And KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the Anchor Radio app. Deal to deal. I'm Brian Blumen, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. Close to 200 countries have agreed to a plan to fight global warming at the UN Climate Summit in Glasgow. The deal was done after India fought to get language in the agreement changed from phasing out to phasing down coal power. Several envoys, including Tina Segi for Marshall Islands, are not happy about the watered-down wording. This commitment on coal had been a bright spot in the package. It was one of the things we were hoping to carry out of here and back home with pride. And it hurts deeply 
to see that bright spot dim. Peggy says her nation accepts the changes with the greatest reluctance. Protesters outside the summit criticized negotiators for not taking aggressive enough action. We again fail to help people who are suffering now for no cause of death. They are not the ones who have caused the climate crisis, but they are suffering the most because we, as this system, are not helping them enough. Climate Action Network International Senior Advisor Harjeet Singh said developed nations need to create a loss and damage fund to help the developing nations now dealing with climate-driven disasters. The National Guard in Wisconsin has been put on standby oh, in anticipation of a verdict in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. Governor Tony Evers authorized the deployment of 500 troops to Kenosha to back up law enforcement if needed. Closing arguments are set to begin tomorrow. A 60-year-old man who's been sitting at the top of the Vincent Thomas Bridge in San Pedro since early Friday has come down. CHP officer Edgar Figueroa says the man who'd been up on the bridge for more than a day turned himself into police. The bridge over the Los Angeles Harbor that links the San Pedro with Seminole Island was closed in both directions, but it has reopened. A two-year-old boy has survived a nine-story fall out of an apartment building window in the Bronx. The toddler apparently fell through an air conditioner-sized gap in the ninth floor window Friday night, and he's in critical condition at Harlem Hospital. Police in Arizona are looking into a school board president who may have been keeping tabs on parents. Police say they're investigating allegations the board president gathered and then distributed documents on some parents that included photos and information about their personal finances. Police won't say more until the allegations against District President John Michael Greenberg have been fully investigated. Scottsdale School Board, like many around the U.S., has clashed with parents over COVID-19 related policies and curriculum. Amy King, KFI News. Southwest Airlines is hoping to avoid more canceled flights over the busy holiday travel season by rolling out new incentives for employees. Pilots, flight attendants, and other operational employees could get rapid rewards points valued at over $1,400. bucks. they are offering as much as triple pay to ground operations employees working Thanksgiving through Christmas and double time for overtime shifts, up from time and a half. Airlines can offer their staff to early retirement packages and leave of absence to save money on labor during the pandemic but came up short staff when air travel demand bounced back earlier this year. Rockefeller Center's world-famous Christmas tree is home in New York City after a trip to Maryland. The New York Truck Escorts and Permits President Maureen Mandich says transporting that massive tree was no easy task. We need a jersey permit to bring it up on the turnpike, stays overnight by the Meadowland. We need Maryland and Delaware permits for it to travel because it's an oversized road. This year's tree is 79 feet tall and nearly 80 years old. It'll be lit up with more than 50,000 lights on December 1st. Hey, yeah. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we oh, are the There's a crash on the 5 in Irvine. It's going to be on the southbound side right before Jeffrey Road. It still has the three right lanes blocked due to a wreck there. Traffic is back up to Culver Drive. We're showing in Ontario on the 10 eastbound between Milliken and the I-15. The three right lanes are toned off until 5 a.m. Monday. At the Orange, we have a wreck on the 22 eastbound of Preston Avenue. Crash there blocking the center lane. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Jonathan White. Why won't a plumber just tell me what it costs to unclog my drain over the phone? Is it that complicated? No, it's not. It makes no sense at all. They obviously have a price. Whoa, you've got a nice aroma. Who are you? Mike Diamond, the smell good plumber. Will you tell me how much sums out my drain? $99. But you haven't seen it. Don't need to. Doesn't matter if it's a kitchen sink or a mainline sewer stoppage. The Smell Good Plumbers at Mike Diamond will unclog almost any drain for $99. Almost? Yeah, there are a few exceptions, but you can read all about them on our website before you call. Just go to thesmellgoodplumber.com. Wow, you're like up front and everything. I just called a guy named Bubba who wouldn't tell me anything. No Bubba's here, ma'am. Just professional plumbers who show up on time, smell good, and unclog drains for $99. Call us. 1-800-446-MIKE. Contractor license number 39917. 
Lotus Blossom Community Services, Inc. has opening for healthcare social worker in Montebello, California. Conduct program participants' daily health and wellness check and update progress note on TurboTAR and maintain case files and records. Develop individual care plan for each program participant based on each assessment to manage their health and psychological conditions. Mail resume to 1305 West Beverly Boulevard, Montebello, California, 90640. Attention Fred Z with reference number 110-22021. Also accepting real estate donations. Now, retirement means different things to different people, right? The pandemic was an eye-opener to lots of us. It showed us what retirement might be like, and for many of us, it's a tempting alternative to working. But lockdowns have also shown us that to do those things we really want to do 24-7, we need to be able to fund them properly. You can't travel without money, you can't play golf without belonging to the golf club, and you can't buy that ranch without the cash either. It looks like traditional savings routes are going to be hit by inflation. So will your returns beat it, or will you be going backwards? It might be time to talk to Noble Gold. They've helped thousands of people like you to have comfortable retirements using the tax advantages of precious metals IRAs. This month, Noble Gold is giving away a free America the Beautiful Solid Silver 5-ounce coin with any qualifying plan you start. So visit noblegoldinvestments.com or call us at 877-646-5347. So visit noblegoldinvestments.com or call us at 877-646-5347. Southland weather from KFI, sunny and hot today, mid-70s to low 80s at the beaches, upper 80s to low 90s in Metro LA and OC, upper 80s to mid-90s in the Inland Valleys, and upper 80s to mid-90s in the Inland Empire. Clear skies tonight, and it's going to cool down a bit tomorrow. Right now it's 63 degrees in San Clemente, 63 in Hacienda Heights, 63 in Sherman Oaks, and 57 in Pasadena. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Brian Baruman. The following is a pre-recorded program.
I mean, maybe it's a New York Street, a California Street, a Florida Street, wherever it might be. As they walk down, you kind of lose track of the background and you're focused on the individual. Well, early on, Hollywood realized that the sets, as important as they are, they, they really do put you in a particular mood and understanding and they wrap uh, the entirety of the scene and the story in veracity. It, it feels like, well, this has got to be true, the setting looks right. Yeah. Yeah. But early on, Hollywood learned that it was way too expensive and unnecessary to build the entirety of the set. You only have to build portions of them, sometimes just the solve, just the face of them, to get the point across. And you, when you watch, end up filling in the rest of the blanks. Like, okay, well, there's probably a back of the building, that front of the building, because I can see front. And that's all it takes. And you know, character and integrity are one of those things that sometimes people think if you just have the appearance, you just kind of have something on the outside, if it just appears to be integrity, then you're fine. It's not the case, biblically. In Scripture, integrity is something that uh, has great substance. It's about being fair, keeping your word. It's something that, that God holds in great importance. And He tests you on it. Judges your integrity. And you know from Scripture that God hates the lack of integrity. But it's one of those things that everybody appreciates, right? Nobody moves forward going, hey, hey, let's let's move forward the lack of integrity. Let's let's re remove these good things, these good quality characters uh, or attributes out of our character and move forward. That's not what people think to do. However, sometimes you do cut corners, don't you? Sometimes, as long as it appears there's integrity. You know, advertising is a lot like this. Advertising knows that you want integrity tied to a product, a service. But sometimes it's easier for those that advertise to do it in a way that it appears that way, but it isn't always. And that's why, you know, buyer beware always. But it's more than that. It grows into your everyday life. How you handle people, how you deal with yourself, how you present yourself. How you do business. I've heard some wonderful stories in the past couple of days from people sharing, uh, not knowing this is what I was going to talk about, but sharing stories of people that have helped them, that have stepped up to, whether it's getting them a house, giving them a car, doing something. But the factor of trust superseded the negotiation process of just how much money could be made over the deal or just how much one can get or what someone can get away with. And it's a beautiful thing when you hear that, when you hear people dealing honestly with one another. And just say what it is, say what you mean, and keep things clean and pure and how beautiful that is. And that's really the process is the purpose of that type of communication that honesty and that builds that integrity proverbs 28 6 says better is the poor who walks in his integrity than he who is crooked though he be rich deuteronomy 25 15 says you must have accurate and honest weight and measures so that you may live long in the land of the Lord your God. Now, proper weights and measures and being honest and fair with people, very important. Keeping your word, very important. But integrity is more than just those things. It's, it's, uh, it's that and more. Integrity, you, you use the word sometimes to describe uh, a structure. The structural integrity of something, or this beam really has great integrity. There's that unwavering, stable, consistent, solid attribute to a thing. 
to a structure, to a beam, to a chair, to a door jam. But don't you want that word used to describe you? Don't you want to be an individual person of integrity? Don't you want to be like that beam, that structure, that's unwavering, consistent, that's solid? Being honest and fair is part of it. Having accurate and honest weights and measures. You know, and this comes up more than once in Scripture. It's uh, mentioned in Proverbs as well. This, uh, this idea of of not cheating one another, not not giving false weights. And this obviously is the the image of the merchant with the scale. And of course, the person buying it wants it to look lighter, so they're pushing their finger up. Uh, I believe Norman Rockwell painted uh, an image of this as well. But even 2,000 years ago, you had people doing this where, you know, the merchant wants it to be heavier so that they get more for it, and the uh, person purchasing it wants scales to read lighter so they're paying less for it, and everybody's trying to cheat everybody else. Rather than going, you know, an honest day's work for an honest day's wage. But everybody trying to just chip that little bit off removes that, that honesty, that fairness. And that chips away at what? That chips away at integrity. Keeping your word is part of it. Matthew 5, 37. Simply let your yes be yes and your no, no. Anything beyond this comes from the evil. Anything beyond that, the simplicity of just saying yes and no, and I realize there's explanations to things, that's okay, but truly, in that place of stability and structure, that incorruptible place of letting what is be is, and letting what isn't be isn't, without having to try to masquerade or dress something up, just to get it by, or just to pass it off, or maybe to make an extra buck, or maybe... Uh, you know, to uh, get a better deal than someone else. It's truly really not worth it. The amount that you spend in your soul wow. when you uh, push aside that, in, that truth, that honesty, just to get an extra buck, trust me, it costs you much more of your incorruptibility than it does your pocketbook. Integrity is really, it's part of your armor, it's, it's protection against evil. It's protection against evil things, evil ways, evil ideas. Proverbs 2, 7 and 8 says, He holds victory in store for the upright. He is a shield to those who, whose walk is blameless. For he guards the course of the just and protect the way of his faithful ones. It is, it is protection. It strengthens you to be this person of integrity, incorruptible, stable and steadfast in your beliefs, your ideas, and the way not just you want to be treated, but the way you treat others. And doing that consistently, daily, in, daily out. Making that truly a part of who you are. As God sees these things and knows and judges you upon this level of steadfastness. <laughs> to the Jesus Christ Show. To ask your question, dial 800-520-1534. This report is sponsored by Mucinex 12 Hour. Did you know that doctors use Mucinex? That's right. Mucinex is the number one OTC brand doctors trust for themselves and their families. So with cold and flu season upon us, why would you use anything else? 
Grab Mucinex and put yourself back in control. Available at CVS. If you want to sell your car fast, Roto. If you want it to be hassle-free, Roto. If you want to make more money on your trade, yep, Roto. That's R-O-D-O. Roto is the best place to buy a new car, and it's also the best place to sell your used car or vehicle lease for quick payment. That's right. Cash offers for used cars have never been higher, so act now. Download the Roto app or go to Roto.com. That's R-O-D-O, the fastest way to sell your car. As parents, we've done everything we can to keep our kids safe, happy, and healthy during this pandemic. From finding the best face masks to making sure their hands are clean, and now we have the best tool to help keep them even safer. The most important thing we can do is vaccinate our kids to protect them against COVID-19. Vaccines have been proven safe and effective for children 5 and up. Talk to your child's doctor or visit myturn.ca.gov to find a vaccine near you. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Oh, hi, Angel. Hi, Devil. Uh-oh, is she shopping again? Calm down. She does browsing electric toothbrushes. Oh, is she using public Wi-Fi? Honey, stop. It's not safe. Angel, relax. Go ahead, girl. Password is hack me. You don't try to be unsafe when you're online, but it can be tempting. It's asking for her passport info to buy a toothbrush? Oh, sounds legit to me. I don't think so, Devil. Norton 360 with LifeLock helps keep your digital life safer. With device security, a VPN to keep your Wi-Fi activity private, and identity theft protection. All in one. No one can prevent all cybercrime or identity theft, but everyone can opt in to cyber safety. It includes free shipping in exchange for her 401k info. That makes sense. Well, how can you pass up free shipping? Save 25% or more off your first year of Norton 360 with LifeLock at Norton.com slash join. That's 25% off at Norton.com slash join. Now, retirement means different things to different people, right? The pandemic was an eye-opener to lots of us. It showed us what retirement might be like, and for many of us, it's a tempting alternative to working. But lockdowns have also shown us that to do those things we really want to do 24-7, we need to be able to fund them properly. You can't travel without money, you can't play golf without belonging to the golf club, and you can't buy that ranch without the cash either. It looks like traditional savings routes are going to be hit by inflation. So will your returns beat it, or will you be going back? It might be time to talk to Noble Gold. They've helped thousands of people like you to have comfortable retirements using the tax advantages of precious metals IRAs. This month, Noble Gold is giving away a free America the Beautiful Solid Silver 5-ounce coin with any qualifying plan you start. So visit NobleGoldInvestments.com or call us at 877-646-5347. So visit NobleGoldInvestments.com or call us at 877-646-5347. Southern California Edison's time of use rate let you lower your electricity costs during hours when renewable energy is more abundant. Learn more at sce.com slash time of use rate. Watch Tennis Channel as the year's top eight women battle in Mexico for the sport's prestigious year-end championship. It's the Akron WTA Finals Guadalajara. Exclusive daily live coverage now for November 17th on Tennis Channel. Check your camp. I traffic. We do have a crash in the Rialto area. 210 East on Riverside Avenue. That is blocking the right lane. Crash clearing in Irvine on the 5 southbound before Jeffrey Road. That is now over the right shoulder. New South LA on the 110 southbound at Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Look out for a wreck there blocking the two right lane. Stay up high in the sky. Helps get you there faster. I'm Jonathan White. <laughs> No one in the name. I paid a visit to the synagogue and I left there feeling plain. No one could tell me what to do. No one had the capacity to answer me. What the world needs now is some answer to our problems. We can't buy more time Cause our tender is solid It is all The Jesus Christ Show, I am 
your holy host. Happy to be with you this Sunday as I'm with you every single Sunday right here, answering your questions and talking about things that truly matter in life, and of course the afterlife. I encourage you to be bold and brave and go to the phone with your theology question or life situation question anywhere in the U.S. of A. Dial 800-520-1534. That's 800-520-1534. Integrity. It's more than than just honesty or being uh, trustworthy. There's uh, a consistency and uh, a strength to it. It's imperative. I mean, you want integrity in the places you you shop at or the services you use and be in, and the relationships you're in, and you want integrity yourself. Scripture says in Deuteronomy that you, you you must be accurate and honest with your weight as a merchant or as somebody purchasing. Matthew 5, 37 says you must keep your word. Your, let, your yes should be yes and your no should be no. Proverbs even says that integrity is protection against evil. Proverbs 2, 7 and 8. He holds victory in store for the upright. He is a shield to those who walk is blameless. For he guards the course of the just and protects the way of his faithful ones. Proverbs 13, 6 echoes this, saying, Righteousness guards the man of integrity, but wickedness overthrows the sinner. Part of that guarding is the consistency of doing what's right. It doesn't mean that you're not uh, sometimes going to get nailed by somebody who's not doing it right. You could be a good driver out there driving properly and somebody can still T-bone your car because they're not driving properly or they're speeding or they're drinking or any of these things. But the, the integrity lies with you. And God will test it. First Chronicles 29.17 that since I know, O oh my God, that you try the heart and delight in up righteousness, I, in the integrity of my heart, have willingly offered all these things. So now with joy I have seen your people who are present here make their offerings willingly to you. God tries your heart and delights in your uprightness. God judges your integrity. Psalm 7, 8 says, The Lord judges the people. Vindicate me, O Lord, according to my righteousness, my integrity that is, is in me. God hates the lack of integrity. Zechariah 8, 16 and 17 people that you hang out with can affect your integrity. 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Who do you think in your life has integrity? And do you think people describe you that way as well? You are listening to The Jesus Christ Show. To ask your question, dial 800-520-1534. I'm Brian Rubin, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. A U.S. appeals court has held firm in its decision to put a pause on President Biden's mandatory vaccine at the workplace rule. The court said the requirement is fatally flawed and a full court needs to hear arguments. A number of primarily Republican-led states suing the Biden administration to stop it from requiring companies with more than 100 workers from either making everyone get a COVID vaccine or submit to regular testing. The decision may soon be appealed all the way to the Supreme Court. News brought to you by Ruder Hero. The quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers, Big Ben Roethlisberger, is on the COVID list and will miss today's game against the Lions. Roethlisberger has said before that he is vaccinated, and that could mean he's eligible to return to play again by next Sunday. The Steelers are on a four-game winning streak with Big Ben. Police say three teens are behind two fake emergency calls that prompted major police responses to the home of a Black Lives Matter activist in L.A. 
Cops say the kids between 13 and 16 were driven by racial hate. Police say the kids are tied to more than 30 bomb threats and so-called swatting calls across the U.S. The price of gas in L.A. County has gone up by two cents, and it's now just under five cents shy of its all-time high price set in October 2012. The average price is 4.65 a gallon. It's 4.62 in Orange County. In California, the average price is up a cent to 4.67 a gallon, which ties the all-time high gas price for the state. There's a work zone on the 10 in Ontario. It's going to be on the eastbound side between Milliken and the 15. The three right lanes coned off until 5 a.m. Monday. To Rialto, we have a crash on the 210 eastbound at Riverside Avenue that is blocking the right lane. Also to Grand Terrace on the 215 southbound of Mount Vernon, crash there blocking the right lane. Seal Beach work zone on the 405 south from Seal Beach Boulevard to Balsa. The two right lanes coned off until 7 a.m. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Jonathan White. Visit mechanicars.com before you purchase your new automobile this holiday season. Stuff on weather from KFI, sunny and hot today, mid-70s to low 80s at the beaches, upper 80s to low 90s in Metro LA and OC, upper 80s to mid-90s in the Inland Valleys, and upper 80s to mid-90s in the IE. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Brian Bruman. Are you like me, Jeff Goldblum? Maybe we share an interest in monsters, fireworks, magic, motorcycles, dogs. This is Disney Plus. This is Disney Plus. Join Jeff Goldblum for another unexpected and surprising journey in the new season of National Geographic, The World According to Jeff Goldblum, a Disney Plus Day premiere. I love to learn about everything. The journey is it, not the destination. Enjoy the ride. Now streaming only on Disney Plus. Hey, it's Gary. Medicare annual enrollment is here, and it's time to keep your Medicare moving forward with Scan Health Plan. Scan is a comprehensive Medicare Advantage plan with new cost saving benefits. Plans for 2022 may include $125 monthly give back, lower out of pocket costs, more included dental coverage, and more. To learn more, call Scan Health Plan at 1 855 479 7226 TTY 711 or ask your local agent about Scan. Call Scan to see if you qualify. Scan Health Plan is an HMO plan with a Medicare contract. Enrollment in Scan Health Plan depends on contract renewal. I am one of thousands of women with metastatic breast cancer or MDC. This is breast cancer that has spread to other parts of the body. I am living in the moment and taking iBrand, Chocolate I iBrand's 125 milligram tablet with an aromatase inhibitor is for postmenopausal women or for men with HR positive, HER2 negative MDC as the first hormonal-based therapy. Be in your moment. Ask your doctor about iBrand and visit iBrand.com. iBrand may cause low white blood cell count that may lead to serious infections. iBrand may cause severe inflammation of the lungs, both of these can lead to death. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking iBrand, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection. Either a kidney problem, or or plan to become pregnant, or all breast feeding. Any side effects include low red blood cell and low shortness counts, infection, ハッピーマーケットのレストランはサムリーが提供しています。ファミリーが提供しています。ファミリーが提供しています。ファミリーが提供しています。ファミリーが提供しています。ファミリーが提供しています。ファミリーが提供しています。ファミリーが提供しています